We have only recently begun to study ancient mining, and what we have learned of Roman mining has left us as surprised as in awe. For the ingenuity for the technology deployed, for the efforts put into it, and for the scale of what was achieved. But even so, there is a Roman mining operation that surpasses everything we could imagine. We refer to the gold mines of Las Medulas in the Spanish province of León, in the north of the Iberian Peninsula. If we recall, in the Filiel mine, sediments rich in gold accumulated in a specific stretch of the Duerna River. Many gold recovery operations were undertaken with these accumulated heaps of sediment. Large deposits of gold-bearing materials that tend to be several meters high and several kilometers in length. Something similar happened in this place millions of years ago. A large river, perhaps several rivers, collected a great amount of gold-rich sediment here. But the geological conditions that occurred caused these sediments to build up in multiple layers reaching an enormous thickness and volume. When the Romans arrived at this place, they were confronted with this view, large mountains formed by huge amounts of gold-rich sediment. A place to get tons of this precious metal, but the challenge was daunting. Because how were they to demolish and dissolve entire mountains? Roman engineers rose to the challenge and conceived a plan so ingenious and ambitious that it bordered on the impossible, a colossal plan. The plan consisted of first deforesting the area and then disintegrating any mountain that contained gold, starting with the lowest in the valley, then moving towards the highest. In strategic places, an internal network of galleries was created by tunneling into the mountain. This network was carefully calculated in order to weaken it. While the network of galleries was being drilled, reservoirs were built to collect huge amounts of water at elevated locations. To fill them, powerful sources of water were located in rivers and streams that were at higher elevations. This required that water be captured many kilometers away. For this, several long-distance channels were designed and built. Once the network of galleries was completed, the reservoirs were successfully filled and emptied, thus releasing an enormous amount of water. The high speed flow gave the water great destructive energy, which ended up by causing massive erosion and pressure inside the mountain. Everything was perfectly arranged for the mountain to collapse. With the mountain literally disintegrated, it was possible to direct the gold-bearing sludge towards the washing channels, again using large quantities of water directed from the channels and from the reservoirs. Once the gold was extracted, waste accumulated in large areas occupying entire valleys, resulting in the creation of an artificial lake. The same technique would then be applied to the next sector of the gold field. And once the mountains of the same level were exhausted, they continued with the mountains of the next level above. The levels the water would have to reach became even higher, and to bring water to them, new sources were required, increasingly further away. Thus, the size of the network of channels grew progressively as the length of the channels increased.
The exploitation of Las Medulas must have lasted more than a century and involved the efforts of thousands of men. Today we know that around 500 million cubic meters of material were removed. All this activity radically changed the landscape. Today, Las Medulas is a marvel named a World Heritage Site. A symbol of stubbornness and mankind's capacity for endeavor and sacrifice.